You wanna look like a boss lady? A Russian boss lady. <laughs> so, this is it. I mean, check this. <laughs> me girl, I've been looking for you in the ends. It's a real thing, me not pretend. Steady with me round town in the bands, oh girl. You got me sitting on the bench. To my channel it's your girl candy c to the a to the n to the d to the <laughs> good we are serious you can't wait me and wait me welcome back to my channel um today i'm going to do like a talk through mini makeup tutorial i don't even want to call it makeup tutorial because you know what it's actually not a makeup tutorial i'm just here to talk about some few things that is on my mind that i wanted to like share with everybody you can see i already did my eyebrows because your girl can do it on camera. I'm not good. I had to do something, so I did off. I did it off camera. But for Numba, you already know I can speak proper English. So, but from the man, the more proper no man can do it. I want it. I wish I wish could do bread. Me too, man. Our generations are our generation. We are so so scared to get into marriage. Why? Because a lot of our friends or a lot of our uh, our co equals or our age group, so age of married a few years back or some years ago, some months ago, are like divorcing and wanting to get out of the marriage. Why? Because we actually rush into things without thinking and observing and getting to know the person that we are actually dating or going out with properly. Why am I saying this? So I had a friend, right? that i've known so for so many years we were literally like sisters and um she was going out with one guy i'm using her as an example and i'll use myself as well as an example because she always tells me mommy and see use me as an example and don't do the same mistakes that i did don't repeat the same mistakes that i did because listen in this life you have to make sure you make the right decisions because if you don't you're going to regret it and by the time you you would notice or you would when you have a bound who don't know know why you're too late right so she was going out with one guy and dated for so long so many years oh my god they were literally goals like you would see them be like oh my god i can't wait to have a partner or be with somebody like this like that you get it at the time they come came up with the idea of marriage she her heart was out of the relationship but she didn't know how to get out of it because she felt like she old hey, die. Hey. Die, 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 die. <laughs> she old she felt like that or the boy in the cup okay <laughs> y'all better just leave me alone so <laughs> she couldn't leave this relationship and it got to the point of marriage here comes the problem she went into the marriage knowing that her heart wasn't fully in the marriage she wasn't so in love with the guy she had dated for so long. Long story short, the marriage didn't even last for a year. They had to divorce. My question is, what went wrong? I believe that whilst you're getting to know somebody, the moment that you realize that you're not into the person anymore, the moment you realize that you are attracted to somebody else or you were in love with somebody else i would always advise you tell the person you're dating or make the person that you're going out with understand that this is what has changed my feelings for you has changed right now as in right now i am actually scared of getting into marriage like I'm not ready I don't feel ready before if it was like two three years ago I would be like yes hell yeah I am ready like I would accept any guy's ring right now and be like let's get married tomorrow or let's get married by the end of this year but I find myself in this position right now that I am not ready for anybody's ring and I'm not ready to be your missus why because I'm just scared I might the spark might might go so focused on getting money making money and making sure I build a future for myself. Cause I always tell myself, I don't want to be a housewife. 
I don't want to sit back at home and wait for my husband to come back from work and be like, how was work? Da da da. Have you eaten? Like, I'm gonna do still, I'm gonna do that still, but then that housewife thing no i'm not ready to be that sit at home and not work i want to make my my own money be able to buy expensive gifts for my partner be able to buy expensive expensive things for my husband yep. and not wait for him to be like take this is your pocket money hell to the no like most of you know my mom and I don't know how it's said I don't want to be that type of woman Do you get it? So right now I'm just not focused about what is going on I'm just not focused about what is going on Like most of them are rush to get married to, to yeah! Ready? <laughs> to get married I'm just focused on making money Marriage will come later. I'm literally doing most of my makeup off camera. <laughs> As I was saying, reason why I, my whole mindset about marriage changed was because, um, let's say two years ago, was it two years? Yeah, it was two years already. It's almost two years actually. Almost oh, two years. So I started talking to one guy in Ghana for the first time, first ever time, right? Instead of going out with the guy in Ghana, after all these incidents, I still decided to go out with him because I'm like, I'm getting to know you. Both parents know that we're going out. I once went out on a date with him. You know, it wasn't actually a date. We went out taking a walk. Because I like simple things like that. So we went taking a walk and what happened was this guy, he knew that homegirl is from, you know, uptown even propose you just suggested marriage and we're just planning about it he goes uh how are the document stuff regarding marriage over there and i'm like in my mind i'm like light bulb and i answered i'm like oh before it would take just a year if you get married to somebody that has papers over there but now it takes two years right and he goes oh, okay i'm like wow in my mind i'm like wow I didn't even ask him why he asked, but I'm not stupid. Like, me name that boy Isaiah Wild Wagana. He was just not smart. I was like, oh my God. So all this while, you want to just get married to me. For what? For papers? Like, at least what the got channel po. Right? And get married first. And then you can try to do whatever you want to do. Like, do you get what I'm saying, girls? And I was like, listen, when your instincts says don't eat fufu because you might end up vomiting, do it. If I had not listened to my instincts and had just allowed the emotions that my parents were feeling for the fact that I was going to get married that I had finally come to my senses <laughs> to get married to somebody <laughs> just imagine this guy was not even serious about me he was just into the fact say he's about to get married to me me mama see to get documents Girls, listen, listen to your instincts. The moment you realize that you have lost connection, emotional connection, physical connection, physical attraction, emotional, whatever, with somebody, back the hell off. Like, leave, run, because you might end up regretting it. I am telling you. Listen to your instincts. I'm telling you, listen to your instincts, because don't ignore your instincts you would you would you would regret every decision you make if you don't listen to your instincts if your instincts are telling you say yes say yeah don't ignore it like i'm telling you i have i have ended up right now not hating marriage but it's actually not on my list on my radar right now it's off the checklist off and one thing that i want to say about 
African parents because I know my mom is going to watch this video. I know my dad is going to watch this video. I know my uncles and my aunties are going to watch. I'm a friend and papa for. All I'm trying to say is we beg you. We know you wish the best for us and you wish to see us get married. And stay with your husbands like how you guys are and everything. But all that I want you to understand and know is let us be ready for it. Don't push us into it. Not to be ready. We want to be happy. The way you guys are in the marriage and was will live for so long and all that. That's what we want to. We also want to you better yet now your name our church to the most of our children when our asset. We don't want that. We want to be able to enjoy every bit of our marriage. We want to be able to enjoy every bit of be happy with our partners. One, a lot of girls out there's focus right now is to make money. We are almost through with this makeup and I'm actually done talking so just finish this look and give my last tips okay <laughs> Makeup ya mara mai nuko kunta ya mara mimi nuko baby ya video ya antena. Hey man, it got some bro. Hey. <laughs> Moral of the story is listen to your instincts because it's another thing is African parents your poem and show that we beg you mama one pressure and don't pressure us like man mama won't pressure yet into things we are not ready for like even for example even when it comes to like choosing of courses well i brought you back called senior high school or college or university mama won't cut it oh you would look good being a nurse oh you look good being a lawyer no maybe i want to do modeling maybe i want to do visual arts like i want to do it for example let me do it. Me, me share maybe Mr. Ponsa ne ba na why a nurse and why a doctor no. Ah, uh, I want to force them them in kuye and now they force a job on kuye. Nah, it's not cool. Like, let us explore. Let us learn to be able to choose certain things for us ourselves or getting married early. No, please. Ordered for what you got. This is not what I ordered for. But anyways, I'm not gonna throw it away because I have to rock it for you to see the mambaka. Do you get it? <laughs> I got this hat from Paris when I went on a short, you know, some song. <laughs> see you guys in the next video and I hope you enjoyed it. And please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Merci and au revoir. Hey, Georgina, hey, uh, I like your way.